Do you guys believe in love at first sight? Because when it comes to UI UX and training design, we sure do. On last week's podcast, we uh, we dove into UI UX and had some of our creative team, uh, Stephen from our creative team, talk about UI UX and platform and learning design. And one of the things I want to talk to you about today is how important building brand affinity from a first impression with a learner really is. So you have a brand, uh, your your organization, your corporation believes in that brand and everything it stands for. Um, if you use the example of, of, of tissues being you know Kleenex, branding is very, very important. And when it comes to learning, uh, that's exactly the same. Whether it's an onboarding curriculum where you're looking to build brand affinity and brand process with your new employees right from the start, or if it's a sales associate or an extended or a customer training that you're developing, you wanna build that affinity with the user right away. Uh, branding is important and, and a lot of the times in learning design it can be something that takes a back seat. UI UX can take a little bit of a back seat as you try to push out content with a quick turnaround whether it's an instructional designer who you have on staff or it's another team member who builds PowerPoint or PDF uh, or video learnings for you. Uh, we want to make sure that we don't lose out on the opportunity to create good brands. So when you're creating training think about UI UX. Who is your learner? How do we want to represent our brand to them, both visually um, and from a voice perspective in the writing, in the content, in the oral, whatever that means to you when it comes to brand, take a chance, make sure that that's important. Uh, maybe get your marketing team involved to make sure you're on brand, but take the importance of UI, UX and branding, put it at the forefront of your learning and make sure you make a good first impression because hey, you may not believe in love and first sight, but it does matter in UI UX. Thanks everybody and see you next week on Knowledge Now.